Oh, it's baking time, strong man. But you forgot to make me bake something. You can't dress up as bacon time strong bad and not bake something awesome. You gotta bake up a batch of cinnamon parched smidgens. Or maybe like pineapple part side out problems. Wait a minute. Don't tell me you were making chicken in a pan. Hey, it's Coach Z and Bubs. Toilet papering the crap out of the stick. Or C Z N B T P T C O O T S for short. Cousin Butt Putt Coots. Hey, that should be the name of our new band. No, it shouldn't. Oh no! The Jimmy's painting has discovered how to adorably reproduce! Look at that sinister grin! At least there's not another Mr. Poofer. Ah! What a great scrap of panty hose stretched over an old wire coat hanger, Mr. Poofer's is. I mean, what a great dog Mr. Poofles is. What? That's not a costume. Looks more like an elaborate prank. You know, like somebody taped a big cutout of Homestar to somebody else's butt. Like one of them kick-me signs. You know, and they're walking around all day oblivious, and everybody behind them is like, Oh, look, there's Homestar Runner walking backwards down the hall. That makes a lot of sense. You suck, Homestar Runner. And then the person has no idea. Anyways, this is appropriate, because I often refer to Homestar as the walking tape-to-your-butt-kick-me sign. Pelican Head Homestar comes with everything you see here. Deflato Head Strong Bad and Decapitato Head Strong Sad, each sold separately. Whoa, it's Cranjag! One of the keepers of Trogdor from Trogdor the board game! It's so legit! He's got that dog tennis ball thing set with fireballs! Ye Flask of Dennis! The Shield of Cumberdale! A tube of old man rub! And even an awesome Trogdor medallion at... A, a clock. You're just wearing a broken clock. I need to get you in touch with this person, whose costume was a bunch of awesome items of Trogdor that they didn't actually wear. Or talk to this young fella. Now that's a real Coach Z medallion. Are you finished? Oh, I was finished years ago, Strongbad. Coasting on fumes, Coach Z is. Ah, uh, these whole family costume affairs just warm my heart parts. And I see that you doled out costumes in inverse height to popularity format. You know, so I'm the most popular, so naturally I'm the tiniest, and the king of town is the tallest because he's the worst. He's the worst! Say what you want. I'm just excited to finally have nostrils. Yeah, me too. Oops. I got a nose bleed. Hey, Stinko Man, have you discovered the true meaning of Halloween? These wrinkle balls are orange and difficult. I cannot possibly punch them all. Cheat ball. Ha ha ha, cheat ball. I might have known. You are the round egg. It's the Halloween cheat ball, Stinkly Brown. We'll return after these messages. Are you sure about that? We want to return? You know, don't think we should... Cut our losses? Huh, all right. Coming back. All right, what am I looking at here? Are you, like, gagged somehow? And this is like a ransom photo? Whoa, somebody finally did it! It's Cannon Mouth made real! Oh, here we go. It's Cannon Mouth. Check out this Cannon Mouth costume. He seems pretty chill, actually, that his cannon's a mouth. His mouth is a cannon, I mean. He's got a collared shirt and an air fryer. I hope he tried to air fry these cheese balls. For some reason, he's got a three-hole punch next to the stove. Seriously, what are you doing with that? You, like, three-ring bind your crepes or something? Oh, you probably need to because crepes are one of the few things you can roll up and shove in your cannon mouth. So you have to keep them expertly filed in a three-ring binder. You know, like, this one is for Nutella and bananas, and then these ones are for, like, ham and cheese. That's a great idea, Cannon Mouth. All right, we got a decent star and a hat and propeller, and the mask is a good touch to represent his weird pointy underbite. But what, what's going on with his shoulders? Oh, those are just my shoulder shoops. Your what? 
my shoulders shoop strong man. You know, when my shoulders go like shoop. I don't remember that ever happening. No, it's all the time happening, strong man. You know, so I squangled my vertex, but he didn't seem to care. Yeah. Shoop. Ah! It felt young, rather dashing, the chicken years. Oh, and it's rather dashing, the these years. Years. I don't like food anymore. And this little weirdo would have an elastic neckline to help him keep his pants up. You know the kind that is actually pretty tight, so it leaves that weird indention in your waistline. I'm a blanket snowman in Grandma's rocker. This spacious back deck with sunburst railing details and cafe dining set is no place for a mighty warrior. Wahaha! Ha, ha. It is a stingy Vilenk costume! My French Canadian villain from Dangerousque! So wait a minute! You can expertly cut out a maple leaf shape, but now you can seem to manage a five point star? Why, I, I, uh... Oh, oh thank you, young man! What a well executed star! I'm sure nobody in your neighborhood knew who the crap you wore still. Mrs. Blundisman was probably like, Oh, look at you. You must be dressed up as the baseballman. Here, have some wax lips. Hey, how'd you get an on-point king's jacket? I don't remember jumping you in as a member. Did you go through all the hazing rituals? Like eating three large gallon of milk pizzas in an hour, drawing hillbilly teeth on sleeping Homestar, and my personal favorite... Butter rocket chili cheese fries. Or as I call them, chili cheese fries. You've shown up too much in this one. Are you supposed to be the guy from that game Where's an Egg? Why are you wearing one of them safari helmets? You couldn't even find a fedora? Or anything to actually hold? Looks like you got an invisible banana in there. Oh, wait! You're dressed up as the detective from the unreleased sequel. Locate banana. Ah, oh, it's a rare treat, but I just can't make fun of a Halloween costume. Look at that perfect trogdor. V's so consummate, you could slice them with a chip. Wings so wingling, they lift me off the ground. And arms so beefy, I want to throw a piece of Colby Jack on there and put it on a brioche bun. Yes, come the crap on down to Blubbo's and try a trogdor the Burgernator. Colby Jack cheese melted over a beefy arm shaped burger served on what we're calling a brioche bun so we can charge an extra two dollars. Someone did it! Someone actually did it! The experiment was a success! Okay, quick recap. Last year somebody dressed up in a super detailed costume of some really obscure crap that I said one time. So naturally I decided to push the boundaries, you know? Strong bad's always pushing them boundaries. So I just said a few random phrases and thought we'd wait until this year to see if anybody dressed up like that. And here we go! Tentacle Mouth Strong Bad, Cardboard Box Snowman, adjacent to Homestar Runner with a Yorkshire Pudding Condition! Look at those little puds! Whoa! Someone else did it! And even better! Now that's how you make a Tentacle Mouth Strong Bad! That thing's horrific! And look at that hardcore cardboard snowman! And then, there's the slight matter of a kiddie pool full of sheets as substitute for Yorkshire pudding, but we can overlook that. Cause man, look at those tentacles! I want them so bad! So these people win for actually making Yorkshire puddings, but you people win for basically everything else. But the experiment must continue! I gotta up the difficulty for next year! How about... Drone footage? Huh? That's a good start. Mecha Strong Sad, and a cost-benefit analysis of the import-export of potash. Tweet! All right, citizen scientists, get to work!